and welcome to ESPN Plus. I'm Roger McLean. Here are my announcement partner, Eric Docker. We have the Battle of the Bay between the Hampton Pirates and the Norfolk State Spartans. Eric, we got a game here. Yeah, we do today. Today is going to be a good game tonight for us. And let's look at the starting lineups for both teams. Let's start with the Pirates. Devon Warren, Greg Hextall, Perso, DeAndre Griffin, and Ben Stanley. And for the Spartans, Kashawn Hicks, Khalil Dawkins, Jermaine Bishop, Chris Ford, and Stephen Whitley. And here we are for tip-off. Stanley will control the ball. Hand it off to Warren. Hex out for three. No good. Norfolk game possession. Spartans looking to press here. Three's up. Cash. That was Kashawn Hicks from Harlem, New York. DeAndre Griffin will control the ball. Stanley, and just miscommunication there on the Pirates' end. Eric, Ben Stanley had a career high last game against the Howard Laws for the Pirates. He had 40 points. 40 points and 11 rebounds. Ben Stanley was definitely showing that he can carry the team if he has to. Hopefully tonight he won't have to use as much effort um, to win tonight's game. Yeah, Pirates suffered that tough loss to Howard. As the bucket was good for Norfolk State, that was number 14, Devontae Carter. And now Norfolk is leading with a 5-0 run right now. Warren, pull up, no good. Spartans, good spin by Carter. Good no foul for Hampton. Hampton regains possession. Great move by Griffin. Three. No good. Just miscommunication on the Spartans then. Griffin passes to Stanley. The handoff is no good. Another turnover. Now that probably wasn't the smartest pass for Griffin right there. Stanley was guarded by two defenders. And they were also close to each other. Yeah. Spartans with the ball here. Bishop. Griffin's on Bishop. Bishop pull up. No good. Rebound by So to Hextow. Hampton needs to step up on Bishop. That's a, he's not going to keep missing those. And that's right. Bishop averages 15 points leading the Spartans this season. He is. He's definitely leading the Spartans in point guard points per game. The last time these two teams played, Spartans won in double overtime. So this is a redemption game for the Pirates. And coming from this week with Hampton lost, loses, they should hopefully try to win tonight. Yeah, both teams not having quite the season that they wanted to. Both teams are on the losing streaks. And Spartan, six game losing streak. And Hampton, five game losing streak. So it's an important game for both teams here. Definitely an important game for both teams to redeem themselves and show that they are ready. And we have and a moving screen. Illegal screen on number 32. That's Chris Ford, the sophomore forward from Chesterfield, Virginia. And Chris Ford is leading the team in blocks per game, averaging 1.3. Griffin with the ball, passes to Hextile. Hextile looks down low to Stanley. Stanley working. Just airballs the layup. Spartans looking to push. Barton slowing it down here. B 
Bishop will run the play. Guarded by Warren. High screen, Bush will pull up. It's no good. Stanley couldn't get the, get the rebound for the Pirates. Bush up for three. A rebound from the Pirates. Great rebound by Stanley, showing off his vertical there, Eric. Definitely great rebound, and Bishop just needs to try to get it in his rhythm tonight. Once he gets in the rhythm, he should be good. Stanley, wild shot, no good. Swan's looking to push it. We got a foul here on the Pirates. That was so. As Stephen Whitley went up for the layup. That would be so personal. Whitley to the line here for the Spartans. First shot is good. Spartans up six to zero early. Pirates gotta find that groove, Eric, yeah, and fast. Once the Pirates find that groove, they should be able to come back from this deficit. Second free throw attempt is up and knocked down from Whitley. And the Spartans look like they did not come to play today. They're trying to keep the same energy as the last time they met the Hampton Pirates. Bishop on Hexal. Hexal passes to Warren. Pirates moving the ball around. Stanley looking to go inside. Being double teamed. And great defense there from the Spartans. Spartans moving the ball around, taking the time. That's one thing I do have to give the Spartans early in the game. They're playing as a team, moving the ball around, making good passes, and which is why they're in the lead right now. And we got a carry here on Carter. And we have a media timeout. We'll be back. You're watching ESPN+. Plus. And we're back here on ESPN Plus with the Spartans up 7 to 0 against the Pirates. Eric, the Pirates already have four turnovers or this early. Yeah, the Pirates, they're, they're trying to get in their rhythm right now, trying to come back from this deficit. Stanley with the ball here for the Pirates. It looks like Smith checks in for the Pirates. Amir Smith. And it's another unusual costly turnover there from the Pirates. Yeah, the Pirates, they're just looking off tonight. Haven't been able to get a score on the board yet. And we're about to approach 14 minutes left for the quarter. Great move inside from Whitley. Spartans are taking their time with each possession. Griffin with the ball here. Great defense here, but we have a blocking foul on number two, Kashawn Hicks. That's his first, and the team's third. Hexel try to go inside, kicks it out to Warren. Warren to Stanley. Stanley goes up, and it's good! He wanted a foul. There was a lot of contact there, Eric. Yeah, Stanley is able to get his first points on the game tonight. You mentioned Stanley had a career high 40 points last game against Howard. Bishop with the ball. And good steal from Warren. And he just slips. Oh. 
and he steps out of bounds. Another turnover from the Pirates. Yeah, at this point, the Pirates are trying to play hero ball. They're not playing so much as a team, but as one. And that was a wet spot. Cost the turnover there from Warren. Great move to get inside, and good block by Smith. Hexile looking at his options. Pulls up, nope. He fakes it, good. look at the Stanley down low. Stanley working, passes to Warren for three. Grims out. Spartans will push here, working their way inside. Bishop with the ball good to ball Whitley. By the Spartans. Yeah, great ball movement here. Willie guarded by Warren. Hands off to Ford. Passes to Bishop. Great ball movement. The shot's up. Nope. Pump fake. Now it is. And we got an air ball. And a foul against the Spartans. And the foul was on Whitley. And that's his first. Team's fourth. Griffin were to bring the ball up here. Good ball movement here. Stanley passes the hex style. Stanley goes up. And it's good. Ben Stanley is starting to get hot here at the Convocation Center. Spartans moving the ball around. Carter to Bishop. Hicks for three. Rims out. Griffin looking at his teammates off the floor. Stanley for three, and an air ball. That was a heat check, Eric. It was. Stanley was feeling himself, but. And we got a media timeout. We'll be back after the break. Did you start the car? Uh-huh. Go, 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 go. Lock it, find it, start it. From anywhere with Remote Connect. Back here on ESPN Plus. Spartans are up nine to four. And Eric, we mentioned Stanley before the break. He stepped up his play while the leader for the Pirates, Jermaine Morrow, fractured his thumb. Yeah, when Jermaine Morrow, Morrow went out, it, went, it was definitely a turn turning point for the Hampton Pirates. They had to find a new person to be able to lead, to be the lead scorer. And Ben has been able to step up and helped out the t team this week. And we'll have Hicks to the line here for the Spartans. First free throw is no good. Both teams. Still trying to find a group here. Second free throw is good. Spartans up by six. Spartans come out with a press here out, out of the timeout. And Bannister is in for the Pirates. Great pass to Smith. Great pass from Warren. If Hampton, if Hampton keeps the assist like that and moving the ball around, they'll get right back into the game. Yeah, caught the Spartans sleeping there. Spartans moving the ball around. Into the game for the Spartans is number 23, Kalajuras. For three, Carter is good. 
13 to 60 at the Convocation Center, Spartan. Bannister passing to Smith to Warren. Pirates moving the ball around. High screen here. Warren for three. It's good. And the Pirates are starting to look a little bit better. Yeah, moving the great ball. ball movement. That's right. Bishop hounded by Griffin. Ball movement here from the Spartans. Pull up for Carter. No good. Warren with the rebound, looking to push it for the Pirates. And he does, and he draws the foul. Great job by Warren taking it all the way and using the speed to get into the paint, Eric. Definitely. And the foul is on number 14. Carter, that's his second. Warren to the line here. And the refs are discussing something here. Don't know what it is. Oh, they made the wrong call. Correction. The call is actually on number 20. Twenty-three. That's Calajura. Bishop will get a breather, replacing him is Tyrese Jenkins, the freshman from Richmond, Virginia. Free throw is good from Warren. Pirates down by three here. Carter bringing the ball up, hounded by Griffin. Spartans moving the ball around. Gets inside, and the basket is good from That's a good take Whitley. by Whitley. Great take by Whitley, way to use his body. Smith with the ball, passes to Warren. Back to Griffin. High screen here. Griffin was looking for the shot, it wasn't there. Another high screen between Hexel and Smith. Hexel goes up. He gets his own rebound. And it's good. Good job by Hexel finding that was following a great, shot. Great defensive effort to get the put back. Yeah, great put back there from Hexel following his shot. Barnes moving the ball around. Oh, great move, but he carried. That move was too good to be true, Eric. It was. And Whitley gets another carry. So we're coming to the game, replacing Smith. And Bishop will come in, replacing Carter for the Spartans. Fifteen to twelve, Spartans here at the Convocation Center in Battle of the Bay. Pirates moving the ball around. Warren loses it. Spartans can push, and they do. And a good pass out. But we got a charge. Good job by Bannister stepping up. To definitely take the contact. He definitely took the contact there, the freshman from Chesapeake, Virginia. And coming into the game for the Pirates is Deep Doom. Deep Dean. Deep Dean had a good game against Howard. Hopefully he can continue his excellent, his excellent play here. And Hampton moving the ball around. Hexall with the wrong pass. Okay. The Pirates continue possession.
Close game still here, just 15 to 12. Martin. Type shot with the ball here. So with the screen. So rolling. He gives the ball to Griffin. Griffin pull up. No good. And they ran the shot clock out. Bishop. Spartans taking it up strong. And it looks like it's out on them, the Spartans. And it will be the Pirates possession. No, Spartans ball. And we have a media timeout. We'll be back after the break. You're watching ESPN Plus. College football playoff. And we're back here on ESPN Plus. The Battle of the Bay. Spartans of 15. And Hampton has 12. Maybe. Quick reminder that this Big South Network broadcast is brought to you in part by GEICO. Big South alumni can save even more with alumni discount from GEICO. Visit GEICO.com slash Big South today. Spartans looking to inbound. The three is no good. Pirates pushing. Griffin. Hexile for three. No good. Now the Pirates brought Stanley back on the floor. Hopefully he can bring him back into the league. They go down low to Calagrea. They double team from Griffin. And it's a good steal by over. Hampton. And good and steal. steal by and the dunk. And Whitley Wentz came through strong. Stole the ball right back from the Pirates. He took the ball right from Griffin. Griffin bringing the ball up. Bishop defended. High screen from Stanley. Hextall finds Bannister. Back to Griffin. Griffin almost loses the ball. And we have an offensive foul on Griffin. Whit Whitley is showing his offensive effort and defensive effort on tonight's game. Yeah, he is causing a lot of promotion for the Pirates. And Griffin will get a breather and Warren will check in. I believe that was Griffin's first personal. Carter inbound in the ball. Carter calling the play out. Calgary is looking inside to Carter. Carter pulls it back out to Bishop. The three is up and it's no good. Rebounded by Norfolk. Now while uh, Norfolk has Stanley out so far away from the basket, this is their time to attack the, the key. Yeah, they're stretching out the floor. The Calagrias for three. No good, Stanley with the rebound. Good effort by Stanley. And once Stanley got back down there, he showed this is my key. Yeah, he loves to protect the paint and snag those rebounds. Definitely. Pirates with the ball here. Hexel with a little floater. It's no good. Carter pushing for the Spartans. Passes it to Whitley. They go back down low. Good fake off. Bishop with the block by. Bishop has shot blocked by Stanley, but the second chance wasn't good for the Spartans. Pirates can push. Warren just pulls it back out. Smart decision as the nothing was there. Coach Jonah calling the play for the Pirates. Stanley with the ball up top, passes to Warren. Hexile. And Dean just steps out of bounds. Another turnover for the Pirates. Pirates tonight have just turned the ball over way too many countless possessions. Yeah, that's already 10 turnovers for the Pirates. Four, 
Pirates are making it harder for themselves right now. Simple turnovers and the reason why they're down and excellent play from Whitley for the Spartans. Warren almost got the steal. The shot's up. And Stanley with the rebound. Stanley just grabs every board, Eric. Yeah, he definitely does. Griffin passes to Stanley. Stanley goes up. Shot is no good. Good defense from Chris Ford. Bishop for three. No good. Warren tracks down the shot attempt. Griffin bringing the ball up here. We're looking for Stanley down low, wasn't there. Bannister for three, it's good! And that's, there's the ball movement by Hampton. Great ball movement. Spartans up by two. Spartans moving the ball around. Carter passes to Bishop. Looks down low for Ford, and he does an air ball. And Bannister with the rebound. Pirates pushing the ball back up. Pirates could tie or take a lead with the three. They got a three, and it's no good from Bannister. Carter tracks down the rebound, looking to push. Good defensive stop by Dean. Yeah, great job for the Pirates to get back. Bishop floater is no good. And Bannister up for the break. And Tyrese Jenkins is fouled. That was a smart foul from Jenkins as the Pirates had a fast break opportunity. It was either go for the foul or go for the block. Back on ESPN Plus, Battle of the Bay. We have the Norfolk Spartans facing the Hampton Pirates. Spartans up by two here. And Warren will be at the line here for the Pirates. Shooting the one-on-one -on -one here. Shot is no good. Rebound from the Spartans. Whitley bringing the ball up. Bishop finds the man down low, and it's good. Great soft touch from Kashawn Hicks. Good ball movement for the Spartans. Being able to push the ball into the key. Yeah, great job. And the ball down low from the Spartans. Warren here with the ball. Passes to Stanley. The alley is no good, but Stanley answers back with his second chance rebound. What a dunk from Stanley. He wanted to set the tone and leave a message with that one, Eric. He definitely did. He said, if I can't get the alley -oop, I'm definitely putting the ball back up and getting my own rebound. Great ball over here from the Spartans. And we have three-pointer is no good. Second chance rebound is no good. Foul on Hampton. No, it's actually a jump ball, Eric. Oh, it's a jump ball. Excuse me. Great job from the Spartans fighting for second chances. Inbounding for the Spartans is Whitley. Whitley. 
Bishop here. My apologies, that's Carter. Whitley just loses the ball here. Pay it to the ground. And we have a shot clock violation. Great defense there for the Pirates. As bodies is on the floor, Eric. Yeah, everybody was hustling for the ball. You can tell that this is a rivalry here. <laughs> Griffin here with the ball. Passes the warrant to Stanley. Griffin finds Warren. Stanley wants the ball down low. He goes up high. It's a, a fake screen. Bannister open for the three. They find Stanley finally down low. Stanley beats double team. And he draws the foul. That was on Deshaun Hicks, his second personal. We have Stanley here to the line. You mentioned early in this game, Eric Stanley had a career high 40 points against Howard, and he has stepped up recently here for the Pirates. Yeah, especially while Merrill is out for a few more weeks, Stanley has definitely been able to help the Pirates. Yeah, but Stanley can't do it all by himself. He's definitely going to need some help. Let's see if a player can step up tonight for the Pirates. And we're all tied up. All tied up here with 43 seconds remaining. And we have a timeout here. 42 seconds remaining this half. And we have a 30 second timeout here. While we have this break, reminded that this Big South Network broadcast is brought to you in part by Marriott, the official hotel partner of the Big South Conference and the Sun Belt Rentals. We have equipment for that. So Eric, what do you think about the game so far? So far, both teams are, I won't say playing their best, but they're playing tonight. Yeah. And honestly, this is a low scoring half for both teams. And let's just see how the tonight's game ends. Yeah, defense has definitely been a factor in this. And you mentioned both teams not really shooting the ball well. Spartans only shooting the ball 25% in the field, and for the Pirates, only 33%. So both teams still looking to get their groove, but it definitely have been a defensive game so far. As the ball is going back to Carl Carter. Then he tries to get inside, he passes to Carter. To Bishop for three. No good, just short. Stanley gets the rebound, has Griffin. Griffin will pull out. Has Dean. And we have a timeout here from the Pirates. Like you mentioned, Eric, a defensive game here. You can expect that from a rivalry game. You definitely would. The fans came out tonight to support the players from both Hampton and Norfolk. So tonight should definitely be a good game. Tied up with 19 points each and 16 seconds left. And let's look at the Sun Belt Reynolds out of town scoreboard real fast. In the MEAC, you have the two pick them losing to Jacksonville. The score is. 51 to 37, and that is in the second quarter. And the NC Central is up at Charleston Southern, 50 to 48, and the final score in the NCAT game, 52 to Bradley, losing 83 to 52. And we're back here, Pirates with the ball. Griffin looking somebody passes to finds Warren. Dean passes to Griffin across. And the shot is good. Three-pointer from DeAndre Griffin. 
And that is and a great way to end the half. And the Pirates take the lead with that three-pointer. Go ahead, 22 to 19, and we'll be back. So far, the last time these two teams played, Hampton took the lead. Norfolk usually averages about 14 turnovers per game, but they're doing a great job at trying to limit that. My name is Alicia Kirk from ESPN, and this is your post game. This is your halftime report. settle down offensively like you said we've done a good job of being connected on the defensive end and get a lot of stops we got to put the ball in the basket uh, hopefully Ben and some of those guys can we can get good ball movement good people movement and then we, we can take advantage of that all right and we see some new players on the court tonight how do you prepare them for a rivalry game like tonight's game it's one of the things you got to be in it to figure it out i don't think we can i don't think we can recreate this in practice so you know, they, they got to be able to play, see what this is about and how much it means to us. And then they got to adjust. All right, thank you. The current score is 22 to 19 with the Pirates taking the lead. The last time these two, planes, Ham these two teams played, Hampton took the win, but it's too close to call today. The, the Spartans have been doing, um, usually they score about, uh, usually they have about uh, 14 turnovers per game, but they're doing a great job at trying to limit that. My name is Elijah Kirk with ESPN Plus, and this is your halftime report. Back here on ESPN Plus, when you have Battle of the Bay, Hampton Pirates up 22 to 19 against the Norfolk Spartans. And what a rivalry game we have here! The Pirates will start off with the inbound. Get the ball to Stanley down low. And he missed the, get the bucket. A lot of traffic there, Eric. Three people on him, but Stanley can still finish. Definitely. Stanley came out uh, for this half ready to play. Bishop with the ball here. Passes to Whitley. Whitley being harassed by So. And we have a foul on the Pirates. That was Warren going for the block. That was a good foul, though. That was a good foul. Don't get dunked on. Better stop him. And Ford will go to the line here for the Spartans. That first half, both teams didn't really shoot the ball well. At all, the um, Spartans had 24% for the field goal, and the Hampton Pirates was 36. And the rebound is matched up. 19 to 19, even. So, it's a good game here, defensive game. Hopefully this half, Hampton has less turnovers. Last um, half, it was 10 to not, um, 7. Yeah, college got to do a better job cutting down the turnovers. 24, 21 here, Pirates up by three. Stanley passes so, so to Warren. Hex off for three is no good. 
Carter with the rebound. Looking to push. The spin move on Stanley has Griffin on him. Whitley will call out a play here for the Spartans. Good ball move in front of Spartans. Just miscommunication there from Ford and Bishop. Bishop with the ball here. Whitley being defended by Stanley. And Whitley takes it to the bucket, and he's good. Good job using his body. Definitely a good way to get in for the last couple seconds of the shot clock. Yeah, right when the shot clock was out of the done. Stanley, pull up mid-range, no good. Rebound from Warren. Bodies on the floor. And we have a jump ball. And Spartans will gain possession. Spartans have five steals, while the Pirates only have two. So, great defense so far yeah, from the Spartans, but still down by one. Bishop will bring the ball up here to Carter. Caladria has checked in for the Spartans with the ball right now. He goes up over so, and you got to travel, no basket. That's a good matchup. That was a good matchup. Between Caligias and So. Hampton bringing the ball up. Hampton up by one on the start of the second half. Let's go, give the ball to Stanley. Griffin for three, no good. But we have an over back foul on Stanley. Hampton is starting this half with Stanley on more of the outside perimeter, bringing so in as to be the big man. And that would be Stanley's first. So now we should be able to see what Stanley can do on the perimeter instead of outside inside of the paint. Yeah, Ben Stanley had 10 points in the first half. Leading the Pirates. Great pass to Bishop. And what a find from Hicks on the back cut. Warren passes back to Griffin. Stanley wants the ball down low. So he did a bad pass. And there Hampton is starting early with the turnovers. The Spartans almost lost the ball there. Bishop for three. It's no good. Now Bishop has been off this whole game. He's normally pretty good. When and it what a move from Hextar. Nice zero step into the paint. Yeah, great job by Hextar getting to the paint. Whitley with the ball here for the Spartans. He led the Spartans with 10 points in the first half. Yeah, Whitley was definitely showing his shine and his, how many points he can range. Yeah, Whitley mid-range is and, good. And Whitley with it again. Right on time. Top of the corner, mid-range shot. Spartans up by one. Showing that he has a lot in his arsenal. Hextall with the ball. Good ball movement by the Pirates. Hextall for three. It's good. He said count it. It looks like the Hampton Pirates are ready to play together. Yeah, Pirates up by two in Battle of the Bay. Bishop with the ball here. Finds Carter back to Bishop. Caladrias passes to Carter. Carter Great. with a good hezzy. Great pass. And we have a foul on So. And Bishop able to draw the foul. Yeah, Bishop did a good job on that back cut. Definitely a smart, a smart baseline cut. And that's so third, third personal foul. And we have a media timeout. We'll be back after the break. 
the stories of the moment. Get the exclusive access and insider perspective that only ESPN can give you. ESPN Daily. Listen wherever you get your podcasts. And we're back here on ESPN Plus. Quick reminder, the Marriott is the official hotel partner of the Big South Conference. For the best rates, book directly with Marriott by heading to BigSouthSports.com slash Marriott. And you will support a Big South student athlete in the process. That's BigSouth.com slash Marriott. We have Bishop to the line here for the Spartans. And Bishop's had an off game tonight. Yeah, he has an off game, but Whitley for the Spartans has definitely picked up the play, Eric. Yeah, he, he has. Whitley and Carter combining together. Hexall with the ball here as the Spartans come in a little pressed here, but they back off in the half court. One with the ball passes to Stanley. Screen to Smith. I mean, Smith checks in for the Pirates. Stanley goes up, and it's good. He gets the soft touch once again. Great job by Ben Stanley. And in for, in for the Spartans is Tyrese Jenkins. Bishop for three, no good. Rebound from Smith. One looking to push. One finds Stanley. Caladrias with the rebound. Bishop finds Hicks. Jenkins for three. It's no good, but he's fouled on the three from Warren. That's a foul that the Pirates did not need. They didn't. And that's Warren's second and the team's fourth. So Jenkins will have three free throws here for the Spartans. Jenkins hears it from the Pirates crowd. He makes the first one. Two more to shoot. And the Spartans are eight for ten from the free throw line. And they're getting the job there. They definitely are. Jenkins, Jenkins missing the second there. free throw right there. Here's for his third. It's good. Good two or three. Make that nine for 11 for the Spartans from the free throw line. Griffin passes to Hextall as the Pirates break the press of the Spartans. Then he goes up top to Warren. Ball movement here from the Pirates. Warren goes baseline, finds Smith. We find Stanley, and the basket is no good, but we have a foul on the plate. And Stanley has always been a hustler when it comes to the rebounds. That's it. That's right. And we have the third personal foul from Kashawn Hicks. Stanley will go to the line here. First free throw was just short. And we're all tied up here in Battle of the Bay, Eric. 31 31. Yeah, it's a good game tonight. Second free throw is good for Sandy. Hampton leading by one. And Hicks will get a breather, and replacing him is Chris Ford. Bishop will bring the ball up here for the Spartans. Hounded from Griffin. 
and Bush have traveled. Good defense from Griffin fighting over the screen, Eric. They definitely were, and they just have been able to stop Bishop tonight. Him coming into the game was the leading scorer for the Spartans, but he's only been able to produce four points tonight. Yeah, and Bishop, you mentioned leading the team in scoring for the Spartans, he had 15 points. Yeah. And the Spartans are missing that tonight. Been able to have a pick up from Whitley and Carter. As a bad pass from Griffin. Jenkins, and what a block there from Smith. What a block. Pirates looking to push. And the basket is no good, but we have a foul call. As Warren will go to the line here for the Pirates. What a game here. Pirates up by one. That was a good block by the Pirates. Great block from Smith getting back and chasing that down. As you can see from the replay. First free throw is no good from Warren. Pirates only four for eight from the free throw line. Eric, they got to do, do a better job of the three points. Yeah, the, the Pirates and free throws have been probably their biggest downfall this year. Second one is good for Warren. Whitley would bring the ball up. Calagias with the ball. Smith guarded him. The ball is in Carter's hands. Carter with the good hezzy. Pull up. Mid-range. Good. Right, what a pull up. Carter's just confident in his shot tonight. He, 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 whatever he wants, he takes it and he goes for it. That's right. Carter's having a great game here tonight. Stanley with the ball. Turnover. And Bishop good assist the by Bishop, Carter to Bishop. Yeah, great yeah. assist to Bishop from Carter. Carter got seven points. And Bishop finally doing what he's known for is scoring. That's only his fourth point. Warren, what a move! What a move from Warren. All tied up here in Battle of the Bay. Ridley dribbling the ball. Finds Carter. Jenkins passes the Bishop. Brings the ball to Whitley. And Whitley gets in the paint, but it's blocked. And we have a foul call on the Pirates. And we have a sub in for Hampton. Daniel Bannister is checking in. And we have a media timeout. We'll be back. You're watching ESPN+. Plus. And we're back here on ESPN Plus. Quick reminder, get social with the Big South. Join the always growing network of Big South fans on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. You can also follow the conference source from game updates and on-site championship coverage via Twitter at Big South Game Day. Follow, watch, like, and share with the Big South Conference. And at the line for the Spartans is Caladrias. First one is good. Spartan up by one. A low scoring game here. 36 35. Spartan's only shooting 31% from the field. For the Pirates, 43%. Second free throw is no good. 
Hexel with the rebound. Dean will check in for the Pirates. Bannister with the ball. Passes to Stanley to Warren. Hextile for three. It's no good. Rebound from Bannister. And he's blocked from Jenkins. And we have a jump ball. Good block from Jenkins. And it will stay Pirates possession. Hexel things around to Dean. Finds Stanley. Stanley mid range. It's short. Really pushes to Carter. Carter finds Jenkins for three. It's no, no good. But Cal just hit the rebound is fouled. That three right there by Jenkins was almost clean. Yeah, but second chances for the Barton. Yeah, definitely a good second chance. We kind of we have a tie game right now in rebounds. Hampton with 24 and so does Norfolk. And I believe that foul was called on Warren. I believe that's his third. Kyle Gs will be back at the line here for the Spartans. And the first one is good. And checking in for the Spartans is Kashawn Hicks replacing Jenkins. Second free throw is good. Spartans up by three, 38, 35 in Battle of the Bay. Great job by Dean catching that high pass, Eric. Yeah, definitely. It almost went over his hands. Yeah, it looked like it was coming right to us. <laughs> Hextile with the ball here. Passes to Dean. Warren gets inside the paint. But he just stepped out of bounds. Another turnover for the Pirates. Pirates have 15 turnovers so far in this one. And Griffin will check in, replacing Warren who... Warren looks like he's limping off. Yeah, shaking up a little bit. I believe he's he tweaked his ankle. Looks like we have another sub also. Yeah. Stanley will get a breather. No, it's actually Bannister. Stanley will stay in. Carter with the ball here. Pass to Kyle Giaz. Great defense here from the Pirates. A great steal from Hextile. He finds Dean. Spartans playing close defense. Dean bringing it up, and he loses the ball. Another turnover, Eric. That's 16. And the turnovers tonight has been the story of the game. Hampton just turning the ball over countless of times. Ridley will bring the ball up here for the Spartans. And we have Wait, a blocking. The they got a, a blocking foul on Hextal. Blocking foul on Hextal. And Whitley will go to the line here as the Spartans are in the bonus. And that's Whitley's first. I mean, my, my apologies, that's Hextile first. First free throw is good. Second free throw from Whitley is good. And Whitley has 13 points leading, 14 points leading 
And Norfolk is up by five. Dean with the ball here, passes to Griffin. Standing up top. So wants the ball down low. Hexall couldn't give it to him. We got a mismatch here, Stanley. And we have a blocking foul on Calogias. And we have a sub in. Number 23, Warren. Nothing to the game for the Pirates. Hextall finds Griffin. Griffin for three. It's good. And Griffin with the contested three. And good job from Griffin getting back on defense. Whitley with the ball. Ricardo. Double screen up top. Ricardo to pull up. It's no good, but great, great rebound from Smith. Griffin will slow it down here for the Pirates. Pull a play out. Dean passes back to Griffin. Griffin to Dean. Ball movement here from the Pirates. Griffin for three. It's no good, but good rebound by Smith. And the dunk! And one. And that's, a, that's the right way to come into the game, with a put-back dunk. That's right. As soon as Smith got in, he got involved. And that ties the game up here at the Convocation Center. Smith with the... And one free throw right now. Can't. Smith just tied the game up, 40 to 40. And he could take the lead here with this free throw. Free throw is no good. Rebound from Hicks. He gives the ball to Carter. Carter has Dean on him. Gets inside. And we have a foul. No, a jump ball. No. Nope. We'll see the refs are getting together. Let's see what they call. And we have a foul on Amir Smith. That was a close call, Eric. Yeah, but Norfolk knows right now they're in the bonus. So all they had to do was just bring that ball in and draw that foul. That's exactly what they did. did. And we have a sub, number 32, coming in for Norfolk. And he, 32, that's Chris Ford, and he replaced Kyle Diaz. Second free throw is good for Carter. Dean would bring the ball up for the Pirates. screen Griffin trying to give the ball down low to Smith it wasn't there Griffin Griffin finds Stanley and it's good another soft touch from Stanley we all tied up 42-42 yep Crowd starting to get into it more. Carter gets in the paint. And the basket is good. Good job from Carter. Eric using his body. Definitely did. And Carter and Whitley, those are the two scorers for Norfolk right now. And they both have been able to just draw the contact and still come out with the bucket. Yeah, Carter has 11 and Whitley has 14. Hextall spin move. The shot is good. What a spin move from Hextall. Hextall got the Hampton bench up, feeling it after that spin move with the bucket, and we're tied right back up with 44 
at six minutes at 56 seconds left. Whitley passes it forward. He gives the ball to Carter. Whitley for three. It's no good. Hampson moving the ball up. Gives the ball down low to Stanley. Who wants it back? Stanley goes up. And the basket is no good, but he is fouled once again. Stanley has been able to save up his energy. So now let's see if he can carry the Hampton Fires to Province Land. And the foul is on Chris Ford. That's his fourth personal. We'll be back after this media timeout. You're watching ESPN Plus. All the highlights every week on any device. Commercial free. NFL Primetime is back Sunday through Wednesday, only on ESPN+. And we're back here on ESPN+. And correction, that was actually Chris Ford's second personal foul. We are all tied up here, 44-44. And Eric, this is definitely a rivalry game. As Stanley is at the line here for the Pirates. Yeah, this has definitely been a back-to-back, -back multiple lead changes. And Stanley is good while he puts the Hanson up with a secure three-point advantage. And both games is important for both teams as both teams are kind of struggle, struggling in the beginning of the season. Yeah, definitely. Both teams on a losing streak, so they're trying to win to see who can take it home and who can be playing for the Battle of the Bay. And why not start off getting on track in a game like this? Mm -hmm. Carter has the ball here for the Spartans. Great defense, great move by. Just couldn't finish. And Carter looked like he's doing a little too much on the ball with the turnover. Yeah, he did a good job getting to the paint, though, but that's too much fanciness to yeah. that move. Exactly. Layup. Hextile in ball to Dean for the Pirates. Stanley with the ball. He gives the ball to Smith. Griffin. Griffin with the ball here. Brings it around to the other side to Dean. Dean, basket is no good, but Stanley is in. And one counted. And Stanley gives you a little dance at the end, Eric. He definitely did. He's feeling himself right now. He's trying to hold it down for the Pirates right now. And Stanley has 18 points for the Pirates. He has 18 points and eight rebounds. He's, he trying, he's trying to go going for another double-double tonight. And you mentioned last game, Eric, he had a career high of 40 points. 40, 40 points with 11 rebounds. But Stanley continues his excellent play here at Battle of the Bay. Especially while their star... Jermaine Merrill is out. And we have a foul on Smith. Whitley going to the line. And that's Smith's second personal foul. Whitley to the line here for the Spartans. Whitley good for the first one, and we have a trade, oh, excuse me, a sub in. Yeah, Jenkins will get a breather, and Bishop will check back in for the Spartans. Second free throw is good for the Spartans. Pirates moving the ball up with a one-point lead. And we're coming across the last five minutes of the second half. Stanley 
What a move. Stanley hustling in to get that bucket. What a move. He started from the other side of the rim and just got to the other side so smooth. Taking advantage of that paint. Yeah, Stanley knows how to use his body in the paint. As he has 20 points for the Pirates. Bishop with the ball here. And the steal from Smith. And he's a dunk! A posterizer. And then Smith with the fast break. We got the fans feeling good, and we got a game here tonight. And everybody is jumping. And we have a timeout. Pirates are up 51 to 46. Look at the replay. That's a nice posterizer right there. Smith going up strong. Extra crispy? How'd you know? Eckrich for your home gate. Whoa! Reminders, this Big South Network broadcast is brought to you in part by GEICO. Big South alumni can save even more with alumni discount from GEICO. Visit GEICO.com slash Big South today. And we're back to action. Whitley with the ball here. And he goes up. And you can count it, Eric. Whitley with just the strong takes, taking it to the paint. Yeah, Whitley definitely scoring for the Spartans. And we're still Hampton with a three-point lead coming across the last four minutes of the second half. Let's go try to get the ball to Stanley, but good job by Whitley denying. Hextall. He draws the foul. And that was a smart move by Hextall to draw the foul, knowing his defender was coming up for the block. Yeah, good job using that excellent pump break from Hextall. Back to action. Not look, not look at the Sun Belt. Reynolds out of the town. Four board real quick in the Big South. You have Charleston Southern defeated in the Central 58 to 53. Western Carolina defeated UNC Asheville 78 to 77. And as of right now, this is the only game going on in the Big South. <laughs> Pirates up 53 to 48 for the Spartans. Second free throw was good. And Hicks all good for both. Hampton leads with a five point. And this game has a feeling it's going to come down to the wire, Eric. It definitely will. Over here, they're trying to, trying to, trying to get the ball to Calagia. Great denied by Smith, and great steal by Hexton. He gets double team, and we have a foul. Good steal by Hexton. Yeah, we have a foul on Devontae Carter. That's his second on the team's night. Both teams in bonus now. Yeah, free throw is gonna. Definitely be important in this one. Just three minutes and 25 seconds remaining. Let's go out the line here for the Pirates. And the free throw is good. We will get another one. So Greg Hextall has 12 points for the Pirates.
Big shot, 13. And he's good for all his free throws tonight. Carter will bring the ball up here for the Spartans. And into the game for the Spartan is Darrell Anderson. Whitley shot is no good. Rebound from Smith. And, and it's out on Norfolk. Hampton's ball. No, it looks to be Norfolk's ball. That was a close call, but it will stay here on Norfolk side. Bishop with the ball here for the Spartans. Pass to Calgary after passing to Carter. Anderson from Whitley. Whitley gets inside the paint and counts the basket. Right when the shot clock is about to expire. And Whitley has done that twice tonight. A good job knowing when the shot clock was going to go off. Exactly. Holding the ball just the perfect time to bring Hampton to a five point deficit. Oh, excuse me, to bring Norfolk to a five point deficit. And it's Ooh. a bad pass from Dean. I would say Pirates Bull. Griffin will inbound here for the Pirates. Inbounds it to Dean. Back to Griffin. Griffin for three. No good. And that was a far one. Yeah, rebound from Bishop. He finds Whitley. Whitley for three. Whitley with the ball. Pirates slowly bringing the ball up here. And we have a timeout from the Pirates. Timeout from the Pirates here. And the Pirates are up by five. Thirty second timeout here. Just a reminder for the best in the Big South coverage, visit BigSouth.com. Stay current with the latest news, results, stats, standings, and much more. Enjoy a video feature showcase of remarkable student athletes or connect to the school site or social media outlets all from one place. Remember, the source from all your conference information is BigSouthSports.com. Just under two minutes remaining in this one. Pirates will inbound the ball. And the Pirates leading by five. High screen here. Hector with the ball. Being double teamed here from Spartans. Stanley with the ball at the elbow. He finds Dean. Dean had open three, but he pulls up the mid range and no good. Rebound from Smith. And we got a foul call. And Smith has definitely stepped up tonight to be able to give Hampton. A couple points that they needed in this turnover is to be able to win. Yeah, Eric. And normally for the Pirates, it'd be Stanley grabbing all the rebounds, but Smith steps up tonight in helping them out. He definitely did. Free throw is good for Smith. Smith has seven points and eight rebounds. And this is good for the Pirates. They've been having a, a lose streak this week. Yeah. First against the Richmond Spiders and then the Howard Bisons. And the Howard game was a very close game. It definitely was. Looks like they showed they, they had a little more strength tonight. And again, we're at your overtime. Bishop for three, no good, ripped out. And they've been able to silence Bishop this whole game. Yeah. And we have a timeout. We have a foul. Oh, Whitney, that's his third. You mentioned that the Pirates did a 
Great, good job containing Bishop. Bishop leads the Spartans with 15 points, averaging this season. So he had a quiet performance tonight. Definitely a quiet performance from Bishop. Yeah, he only had six points. A very quiet game from Jermaine Bishop. So we have Stanley at the line here for the Pirates. Pirates up by seven, and Stanley can make it eight. Increase the lead. Free throw is good from Stanley. Stanley has 22 points and nine rebounds. One away from a double double. Shots up is good from the Spartans. That was Darrell Anderson, the freshman guard from North Chesterfield, Virginia. So Eric, a very defensive matchup in the beginning of the first half, but more offense in the second half. Definitely, the first half was more of a defensive half, and like you said, offensive half for the second. But the Pirates have been able to come out for the second half and to show <laughs> Norfolk that they they're here to play and they want their remake <laughs> from last time they played. Yeah, and the Pirates are shooting 47% from the field. While the Spartans are only shooting 32%. We're back to action here. And quick reminder, you're watching ESPN Plus. Roderick McLean and Eric Dockery here. And Hexall will inbound for the Pirates. Finds Griffin. The Spartans bring out the, the press out the timeout. Definitely full court press. And here's a foul. And Anderson, that's his second. And Greg Hustle will go back to the line. You mentioned earlier, Eric, he has made all of his free throws. Yeah. And luckily. Tonight, Hampton has been good on the free throws. Hexall is five for five from the free throw line. Second free throw is up, and no good. I guess I jinxed the Merrick. Bishop for three. No good. Rebound. Smith. And they're sending Smith to the line. Both teams being in the bonus. Now this is just a free throw game. Yes, indeed. The last time these teams faced, Norfolk won in double overtime. So great job from the Pirates answering in a redemption game in Battle of the Bay, Eric. Definitely a good game for the Pirates. And this is a game that both teams needed that both teams are going to lose in streak, especially for the Pirates losing their leader, Jermaine Morrow Jr. So it was a good job. Players stepped up, not only Stanley, players like DeAndre Griffin and Greg Hextall and Amir Smith. It was an overall great team performance. It was a good effort by everybody on the Pirates team to be able to give them this nine-point lead right Whitley now. gets blocked by Smith. What a block. And Smith has just made sure he got all the way back from shooting his free throws to get that block. What a block by Smith. With just 44 seconds left, Smith is still playing. He's still playing, not giving up any effort at all. And we will have Bruce Dean at the line for the Pirates. Free throw is good. Look up some stats. Ben Stanley led the Pirates with 22 points and nine rebounds. So far. 
Bishop for three. Is no good. And, and Ben just got his double double for the night. Another double double. And we have a timeout from the Pirates as Stanley is shaking up, but he seems to be okay as he's helped from Smith and Griffin. Like you said, another double double for Ben Stanley, Eric. Yep, and this one, this one is for the wing column for the Hampton Pirates. Yeah, it's a good job for the Pirates breaking that five-game losing streak. And you mentioned this week was rival week for the Pirates and lost to Richmond and lost to Howard. So it's a good job winning this one. It definitely is. And their week off strong with the win against NSU to be able to claim the bay. That's right. <laughs> Here is 64 to 53. Pirates. Ben Stanley, 22 points and 10 rebounds for the Pirates. And Hextall will inbound for the Pirates. 28.7 seconds remaining in this one. Norfolk playing full court defense. Hextall loses the ball. And the full court press works. And, and the dunk is no good. The dunk is no good from Anderson. Well, that's the shows they wasn't supposed to win tonight. And the clock is winding down as the crowd is pumped as Hampton won in the Battle of the Bay. And that's it. Final score is 64 to 53. Pirates, let's look at some stats real quick. Ben Stanley led the team with 22 points and 10 rebounds for the Pirates and for Norfolk State. We have Stephen Whitney, 20 points and 6 rebounds. That's it for Battle of the Bay. You're watching ESPN Plus. Roger McLean and Eric Dockery here. Thank you and have a good night.